Hello, and thank you so much for joining me today on a quick pop-up Be Well Live. I'm here coming to you to make homemade granola. Homemade granola is super easy, um, and the reason that I like to make my own homemade granola is because often granola is made with nuts, and in our house we have a nut allergy, so um, I will make homemade granola that's nut-free. This is actually also gluten-free too, so if you have gluten allergies or insensitivities, then um, you can make this as well. And I'm gonna do it fast so I can get this done so we can all go and watch the leaf game in a couple minutes. So we're gonna start with two cups of oats. I just use ground oats and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I love baking with cinnamon because it tastes so good. And about a quarter teaspoon of salt, usually just, you know, like a pinch of salt. And then you're just gonna mix that up together. So those are your dry ingredients, super easy. Then you're gonna do your wet ingredients in a um, different container. So I'm gonna start with a quarter cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of maple syrup. Let's get all the last bits of maple syrup out. And um, a quarter cup of oil, so I just use vegetable oil. You can use whatever you have, canola oil, vegetable oil, whatever you have. And then about a teaspoon of vanilla. And then you're just gonna mix all of those wet ingredients together. So once they're all mixed together, then you're gonna put them into your dry ingredients. So there's my wet ingredients. I dump them into my dry ingredients, which was the oat mix. And again, this is a super easy recipe to make. And then you're just gonna stir it all together. So I'm just gonna mix it up really, really well so that my wet ingredients have coated my dry ingredients. So really mix it up well. Smells delicious. That's the maple syrup and the brown sugar and the cinnamon all mixed together, it's so good. Once it's all mixed together and coated, I'm gonna take a baking sheet and I've already pre-lined it. I have these really neat silicone mats or you can use parchment paper. So once you've um, lined your sheet and then you're just going to take your um, mixture and you're going to put it onto your baking tray. So spread it all out and then I just usually take a spatula and put, push it down a little bit so that it's all sort of flattened out. That's it. That's how easy this, this recipe is. Flatten it all out like that. And once that's done, I'm going to um, put it into my oven that I've preheated to 300 degrees. Pop it in for 20 minutes. So, ta-da! Oops! Um, I've already done one. So, here is my granola that I made earlier. And it comes out um, nice and hard and uh, so delicious. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to break it up with my hands into small pieces. And you can either eat it just like this, or if you want, you can um, sprinkle it over yogurt with some fresh fruit. That's my favorite way to eat granola. So that's it, really easy, homemade, um, gluten-free, nut-free granola. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Go Leafs Go, be well, be healthy, stay active.